Um, but I'm the program director uh, at Dal here um, in, uh, in Halifax. Um, so again, it's, it's really kind of the three pillars of many programs, very similar probably to what you'll see in others, but uh, you know, the clinical experience is key. Uh, teaching and research are, are all really important. Uh, just about me, uh, I've been here on staff since 2014. <clears throat> I actually did uh, medical school at Mun, residency at Western, and then fellowship out in BC. So I've uh, kind of seen some other programs as well. So I actually have a little bit of insight as to what happens to other places as well. And this is my family. Uh, this is my wife, uh, Stephanie Scott. She's actually a gyne uh, gyne oncologist here. And we have the three small children at home as well. So really, this is what our program is all about. These are our three graduating residents from last year. And it really just goes to show you, you know, the breadth of, uh, you know, kind of people and and, uh, and orthopedic surgeons that we graduate from our program. So uh, Bernard Bergeson is currently doing a foot and ankle fellowship at Harvard, and he'll be coming back here to, uh, to Halifax on staff. This is Obeid al uh originally from Oman, uh, and he'll be going back to Oman after he has uh, finished his uh, arthroplasty fellowship here and does a, a knee fellowship in Ottawa. Then uh, Pascal Maylot is actually practicing right now. Uh, he went straight to practice uh, from my residency, which is really uh, quite quite interesting as well. So um, again, we're all very proud, and uh, you know the the goal at the end of the day, and I think should should be of any program, is that you know these uh, you know I'd, I'd be happy having any of these uh, uh, graduates you know operate on one of my family members. So we're we're very proud of that and take that very seriously here. Um, so PGY one to two, um, there's a boot camp. There's a buddy call system that you have. Um, <clears throat> you get getting introduced uh, to the the way that you kind of manage calls and manage the ER. Um, so again, I would say PGY one and two, uh, the, the operative experience is there, uh, but most of it is learning how to deal with patients, manage uh, the ward, uh, but also. Um, uh, getting an idea about uh, using your hands, uh, especially kind of in the simulated environment as well. Um, PGY3, uh, kind of halfway through, you become senior resident, which is quite nice um, <clears throat> because again, it, it is a tough, you know, kind of slog through the first two years of residency. And that's true of any program. I, I don't think anybody would, would, would say anything differently. Um, there's a research block. Uh, now research blocks are kind of interspersed throughout training and it depends on your desire to do research and that that's negotiable uh, depending on what projects that you have going on. But uh, this is St. John, which is where all residents will spend three months uh, doing a, what there is called their community rotation. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Um, but the nice part about St. John is that there's actually infrastructure there to support that to support beyond learners. So it's not they're not dependent on learners to provide service, which is really, really important. So the residents kind of get to pick and choose exactly what experiences they want there. And it really functions as a, as a tertiary care center, interestingly, uh, because it is reasonably large, at least from East Coast, for East Coast standards. Um, so in our senior years, uh, again, really developing that interoperative independence is really important. So the Royal College is going to be moving to a model where you're going to be writing your exams more in the fall. And it's supposed to be kind of a more of a supervised independent practice, you know, kind of through your fifth year. And I think given the amount of independent uh, experience that we give here in Halifax, I think we'll be well positioned to kind of make that transition into the next um into the next phase of what the Royal College wants us to do. Uh, simulation is really, really important here. So, so much so that we've actually created a simulation um, <clears throat> uh, program. So what, what that means is that once or twice a month, uh, you'll actually be going into uh, the, the lab with a, a certain subspecialty. So there's a foot and ankle one last week. There's a spine one in the spring. Uh, there's a multiple trauma uh, simulation labs. And, and the reason that we actually have that <clears throat> ability is because for whatever reason, cadavers are extremely cheap uh, in Halifax, and and I and I don't I can't really quite explain that. They're about one quarter of the cost that people will kind of encounter in other places. So it's really a nice advantage that we that we that we have here as well for from a simulation perspective with the access to fresh cadavers here. Um, the um, and then the, something that's unique that has been really quite good here is that we do have an OSCE examination every year. So we'll actually have simulated fractures. Uh, you can have tailor neck fractures. Uh, you have both bone forearm fractures that are simulated through an incision that's kind of away from where you'd plan to do the surgery. Um, and it's just really interesting because, you know, you, the, the residents are expected to kind of evaluate the patient uh, preoperatively and then subsequently perform the appropriate um, 
uh, surgery within a with on a cadaver. So there's a simulated patient interaction that happens before you go into the lab, you do the surgery, and you have a debriefing with the patient before. And often there's a complication, just like your Royal College exam will, will kind of show um, that you'll have to manage kind of and, and talk to about, uh, with the simulated patient afterwards. So it's really uh, quite a unique thing that we've kind of created here. And it's, it's, it's eye-opening as a staff person. And it's a great experience, I think, uh, for PGY3 through five residents. <clears throat> Um, you know, I, I won't talk too too much about research, but just other other than to say that you know that, that Dalhousie Orthopedics has has quite a footprint within the within the literature, um, and that's all in all subspecialties. Uh, we have at least two people in each different subspecialty, um, and again, we're all I, I would say productive teams. Uh, each each team essentially produces you know anywhere between three and four. Uh, peer-reviewed publications, often, you know, kind of, sing, you know, first authored by either medical students, uh, fellows, or residents. Um, so there's lots and lots of opportunity. Um, and we've actually uh, just recently been able to um, combine the distract, discharge abstract database across Canada with some Statistics Canada uh, data, which has been very, very exciting for a number of different reasons. And it's, it's really kind of low hanging fruit when you talk about, um, you know, the access to quality data and very, very large uh, patient data sets. Oops. Uh, again, these are you know pr primarily the people that actually supervise people in research. Again, just to suffice it to say that each different subspecialty area has you know kind of one you know kind of lead for research that is very approachable and that can easily give you you know three or four projects to pick pick and choose from uh, depending on what you're interested in. Oops. And again, I, I think the residents will talk a little bit more about this, but there's a pretty solid, uh, you know, kind of work-life balance and social aspect to our program as well. Uh, you know, numerous um, events throughout the year. It seems like there's a there's an event kind of every every single month actually. That's you know, kind of like a, one of those like non-miss events. There's a Yabsley Day, which is kind of the um, the reunion basic, basically for Dalhousie, Ortho, uh, Dalhousie Orthopedics, which is very well attended every year. Um, again, and there's lots of hockey, lots of soccer, as you can kind of see here. And then uh, the, the residents uh, actually have two golf days uh, in, in June of every year, which is, which is very cool. Um, again, it's, you know, just to, you know, this is more kind of general words of advice, but it's an extraordinarily difficult time, uh, again, to evaluate programs, you know, for, for you, you know, I, you don't get the opportunity to kind of visit every single program like I did when I was going through. Um, so it's really hard to make decisions. Um, but again, you know, suffice it to say, if you come to Dal, uh, you will get the opportunity to operate and you'll be able to make your experience what you want. If you wanted to go heavy into research, there's plenty of opportunity to do that. Um, but you will be an excellent clinician by the time that you graduate this program, which I think, you know, most programs uh, can probably say as well, but uh, we definitely, take that very seriously.